All right, everyone, I was getting ready for work this morning. It was about 5 a.m. and I was actually able to catch the last few minutes of the Square Enix Tokyo Game Show presentation. Although I was getting ready, I kind of saw out of the corner of my eye that there was a new Stranger of Paradise trailer and a new trailer for uh, Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier. So I wanted to give a reaction for Stranger of Paradise because I've actually been looking forward to this game. Unlike everybody who's been saying like, oh chaos, you know, making fun of it. I actually think this game looks really cool. I played the demo, I thought the HUD was cool, the characters were cool, the combat was a lot of fun, although very challenging. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this new trailer has to offer, and supposedly it has a release date. I think it said something about 2022 on the articles I've seen on the internet. So let's check this trailer out here. Alright, 35th Final Fantasy Anniversary. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling? None can recall the struggle the warriors endured, but the memory of their deeds lives on. So this is this is like a a retelling of Final Fantasy One. Wait, is that Sarah? My crystal. It's her. It still seems really fluid. Like it still seems like it's in that really high frame rate. Darkness veils the world. Four warriors of light shall come. I'm Neon. And I only count three of you. Oh, she's the fourth. Deliver this world from the clutches of darkness. King Cornelia? Boy's worth. You fold a little Oh, dude, it's the pirate that you get the ship from. You probably fight him in the crew. Crystals. Fire, wind, water, and earth. The darkness corrupting them causes fires to rage, winds to die. The, cr the crystals Seas are corrupted? And earth to decay. The people are lost, and scarce little light remains in their hearts. Right, so you want us to do something about the darkness clouding the crystals? His voice seems really familiar. What is this, summons? There. This might be a reference, and I don't know what it is right now. So you're gonna have four party members on the field, man. That's crazy. I remember that absorbing thing, that that red hand. That was a really cool way of defending. Tiamat. Tiamat or whatever? Is this the Wind Shrine? Know its name. Tiamat. Tiamat. God, dude, the music. Dude, it talks? He's out there. I can feel him. I just have to keep looking. May the crystal's blessing be with you. Oh, that's Sarah. Always. That's Sarah Cornelia. Dude, I think it's interesting. I, I think it's cool. Never asked your name. Garland. My name's Jack Garland. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, dude, March 18th. All right. Damn, so cool. First uh, first soldier, I'm going to be watching that in a second, but dude, wow. Uh, all I can say is holy shit because that ending part, uh, is this a prequel to Final Fantasy 1? Because they are saying, what is it, they did say before Garland became possessed that he was this very uh, strong and reputable knight in the kingdom of Cornelia. So are they saying that this is a prequel to Final Fantasy 1? And there's gonna be these warriors of light, and then it's gonna switch to the four in the original game. Like, dude, this is this is pretty nuts right now. Like, this is I'm really looking forward to this to be honest. Like, it seems just so cool. Like, I love how they're taking all the references and the concepts, like the summons, the crystals, the characters, like Garland, Princess Cornelia, King Cornelia, the four warriors of light, and then also, like, 
Oh god, man. Like, there's new stuff, like the summons and stuff. I, I think it looks so cool. Because it's doing this different take on all this stuff that I already kind of know from the original Final Fantasy game and its story. Especially the pirate. The pirate thing is like, whoa. Are they gonna hijack the dude's ship? Like, beat him in a fight in the original and get the ship? And then, I don't know, is Jack at the end gonna become Garland? Dude, it's, it's totally insane. I think this game looks really cool, and I cannot wait to play the demo tonight on stream. I'll be playing it on uh, twitch.tv slash climbhazard underscore Matt. If you guys want to come check it out, if not, I'll be uploading it to YouTube. So, pretty cool game, man. Uh, I know a lot of people don't find this the most favorable thing. They want to say chaos, but I am definitely looking forward to it. So, thanks so much for tuning into my reaction, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.